Little Sugar Buggers, welcome back to the channel for yet another mini mod review. Today we are going ahead and taking a peek at the Functional Beekeeper Box by Ice Mum Mum, I believe is the name of this creator. This item was released on May 17th, 2017, just two days after my son was born. However, I've known about the upcoming launch of this item for quite a while now. I don't remember exactly when Ice posted this on Twitter, but I know when they did, I was super excited and thought, oh my goodness gracious, like how freaking creative are these CC makers. Seriously, I am just, I am blown away every time I see a new functioning item onto the market. It just keeps getting better and better and better with custom animations, buffs, whims, uh, you know, just everything, the whole kit and caboodle. It's, it's amazing. It really is. So this one is no exception from what I see so far. I've yet to actually test it out in game. There are, um, three new collectibles that kind of come with this beekeeper box you can collect the beeswax the honey and create honey jars they're craftable from the honey uh, there is 10 different presets to be had so a whole bunch of different color swatches there two different menu items i believe um and then well actually there may be more interactions i have to look at the things down below but yeah basically there's some interactions there i know that there's custom buffs and all of that jazz maybe this person's working on some more things i honestly don't know i hope so and uh this is pretty much just like a quick little overview of everything that comes with this download and i don't know if i mentioned this yet but it is available on mod the sims i will as always link it down below for you guys if you just want to go ahead and download it so if we go check out the item details um, it is under the catalog, oh, found under the catalog under Mystic Appliances. You just search B Box and it'll pop up there. The price is $300 per a box. There's 10 different PD sets, like I had mentioned. Um, the interactions that are available is to view it, which essentially the sim admires the objects as a beautiful piece of art. Um, you can smoke the box. Smoking helps to calm the bees and allows the sims to collect. Uh, there's a custom buff that lasts for six hours, a small chance of failure where a sim gets a custom uh, uncomfortable buff at the end ends up with smoke coming out of their body. Are you serious? And look at the bees too. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait. Number three, collect. Interaction only becomes available if the bee box has been successfully smoked. Successful smoking will last six hours. Uh, we'll randomly get honey beeswax or the sim may be stung for the effort. Oh, that sucks. It's very, very, very true to how almost the Sims 3 one worked. Each of the above outcomes is associated with a custom buff. After an outcome, you must wait two hours to collect from or to collect or for the collect interaction to become available again. Awesome. Wow. This is extremely intricate. It's literally like a custom item that EA has created from what it looks like on paper. So number one, honey. Uh, when in the inventory, you can craft a jar of honey. Um, honey is edible, so you can drink it and you can also sell it using the city living craft tables. Very cool. Uh, beeswax, you can be, it can be sold, um, from inventory and city living craft tables will be utilized later for a custom candle making table I'm working on. <gasps> oh my goodness gracious. Oh, I just smacked the mic. I'm so excited. <laughs> custom buffs. There's a bunch. You have beehive, smoked beehive, smoked sim, collected honey, collected wax, bee stung, sweet honey, homemade honey. Very cool. Awesome. All right. Well, the only thing that's really left to do here is go ahead and jump in game and check out the bee box. <laughs> Okay, so here are the beekeeper boxes in game and I am so freaking pleasantly surprised to actually see these bees are freaking animated. I know, how many times can I say freaking? Like I am literally dying inside. How much work did this simply freaking take for this person to be able to make this a possibility? Now I know this is just kind of imported from The Sims 3, but still this takes some damn skill. All right, so the first thing that we can go ahead and do is view the box and we can smoke the box. That seriously gives me such Sims 3 vibes. It's ridiculous because I always say it like smoke the box. What else? Uh, collect the box or harvest the box or something. I don't know, but it just, it just seriously, it brings me back. So she's checking it out. And this is Ellen Knowles. I've already mentioned this in my other like little reviews that I've used this family for, but uh, this family is the Knowles family. And it was sent to me using the hashtag US parenthood for my parenthood, AKA Sim Cell series. And I just wanted to use them because I felt like they were the perfect Sims for these reviews. So she basically 
took a look at it, liked it, digged it. She's feeling a little tense right now. We're actually insecure. I'm sorry, because uh, she's a jealous Sam. So this unique moodlet comes to mind, and it says beehive from admiring the bee box. Bees are always busy buzzing. Oh, I like it. Cute. And uh, there's tons of swatches, as I've already mentioned. So we went through that already, but... Next thing we can do is go ahead and smoke the box. So she is, I guess, poking it from the bottom, which is interesting. So unfortunately for her, she became a smoked sim. <laughs> oh my God. I recorded quite a bit today, so my voice is a little hoarse. And the smoke just keeps coming and coming. Unfortunately for, for Miss Ella Knowles here, she's not... She's not quite the beekeeper. Um, what does it say exactly? It says, uh-oh, you've smoked yourself instead of the bee box. I knew she was sticking that stick where it didn't belong. Okay, I don't know if she can actually smoke it again. She can't, and I think that's for another freaking 12 hours. Um, the kids can view the bee box, but they can't actually help out with it. So I'm going to have her husband kind of step in over here, and he is also going to go ahead and uh, poke the box. Looks like he has smoked the beehive oh my gosh this sounds like he's doing something illegal <laughs> okay like some sort of ganja or something all right so he has smoked the box and the bees are calm so with that he needs to wait or he's far too uncomfortable to collect so what i'm going to do is use my handy dandy uh cheats and we are just going to make him happy we're also going to go ahead and cheat her needs and make her happy as well. So now that he's done that, he can actually come over here and collect the um, findings, whether it be honey or beeswax. Ooh, so it looks like he's actually right. found a little bit of beeswax, one piece to be precise, and he can sell it for $5. So I'm not sure if he ended up getting smoked or not, but Ella is still smoking. She's so smoking hot. All right, so uh, what does it say? Collected wax. Now what do we do with this beeswax? And remember, from what I read, we can actually take this to Sam Shuno and sell it on the tables. Okay, so with that, he can only view the box. And I think you can't collect again for another, like, what, 12 hours or something like that. I was kind of hoping I could show you guys. Um, <laughs> I'd be able to show you the, uh, whatchamacallits. Um, oh, my goodness gracious. What is it again? <laughs> the, uh, the, the ability to make honey. That is what I really want to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of, you know, um, put down another box here. So we're going to have her go ahead and attempt to collect something. Okay, well, it appears to me she's got some honey. And uh, that honey is worth 30 simoleons. She can either eat it or she can craft a jar of honey. So we're going to have her craft a jar of honey. And just like that, Miss Ella crafted a cute little bear full of some delicious honey. Now, it's funny that we're talking about bees and stuff because one of my friends posted something on Facebook and she told me that honey was bee vomit. Like, it comes from their, like, digestive tract. But I could have sworn it was separate. Like, I don't actually believe that a... Uh, that a honey is bee vomit. But if you guys know the truth behind this discrepancy, let me know in the comments down below. Is bee vomit actually honey or not? <laughs> I really want to know. So there's the little jar. It is so freaking cute. Oh my God. I want to say the bad words so bad. That's what this little jar does to me. By the way, I've actually had a drink called, I think the honey bee or something like that at like a really fancy restaurant. And, um, it was in a little honey jar just like this. So there we go. That is what it looks like. I'm curious uh, to see if, hold on, I had a scratchy nose, if children can drink this too. So it does look like they can. They can drink it. They can ponder the glass's fullness. Um, but we're going to have Ella come over here really quick. I need to read off these moodlets to you. So first and foremost, she collected honey. Um, she smoked the beehive and she crafted honey. So she got the sweet honey moodlet. Uh, last but not least, all that we're going to have her do is go ahead and drink the honey that she has crafted and we're gonna go and see what um, happens after that so I want to know if the value of this honey increased because we put it in a jar if you know what I mean so let's go see I'm gonna try to drag this okay so it went from $38 to about 50 bucks so that's actually a really nice yield but it looks like you only get one piece of whatever item you harvest at a time oh my god look at all of these bees I'm so excited all right so there she goes she's drinking it and it actually seems to work just fine 
and uh, the glass is indeed empty. Wow, holy crap. Okay, so she was able to drink it. It didn't look like she got any. So oh, no, she did. She did homemade honey, a brand new moonlight. Okay, sweet and syrupy homemade honey. Uh, and that actually sent her blad bladder into a downward spiral, and now she really has to pee. So overall, I think that's all there is to kind of take a peek at when it comes to the bee box. Um, I think this is a really cool item. It's very functional. It works just like the Sims 3 one, maybe a couple things here and there, but seriously impressive impressive for a content creator to be able to um create this and make it work i mean even with these animations and everything it just seriously blows my mind so if you guys are interested in picking this up i will definitely link it down below and if you guys want to go ahead and share any other functioning cc with me don't forget to go ahead and leave it in a comment below and i will definitely take a peek or if there's any other mods or anything of the kind that you would like me to review let me know in the comments down below where the sun does not shine hope you all enjoyed don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe and i will see you all next time Bye,